7.30, Monday, January 22nd, the first day of a brand new week, and I just finished editing my video vlog for last week. It's rendering over. I'm going to upload it tonight and schedule it to go live on Wednesday around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got to work a little bit on some postcards today that I did put up onto my Etsy shop and it was kind of slow on the phone so I did get a little bit of that done. I got me a new journal made, a 9x6 out of watercolor paper and I got me a tag journal made out of um, three, 3 inch by 5 and a half inch tags. Not real big but enough to work with. So maybe I'll get some process videos done this week. Other than that it's been just a normal Monday. Did not want to get up. Had to drink two cups of coffee. Could not get going. And now I'm starting to feel that the day's coming to an end. It's going on 8.40 Tuesday, January 23rd. And me and Rue have been up for quite a while now. We've got everything we need done. We've both had breakfast. And she's been outside and she is now snuggled into her cage for the day. I'm getting ready to get to work on some day job work and a few other things that I need to get done. I went through my uh, cabinet drawers last night and found a several what would be classified as found items for canvases. So I'm going to separate those out today and get those done and see what I have got and what I don't have. But before I do that, I need to get me a second cup of coffee. It's going on 11.20 in the morning, Wednesday, January 24th. And I decided that I need to get little Miss Rue out of the house for a little while. She hasn't been out since Saturday, this past Saturday. And she's getting a little bit antsy. So I thought I'd take her for a drive around town. And while we're out, I might hit the thrift store and we definitely need to get some bread. That's about the only staple we're out of right now. in the afternoon, Wednesday, January 24th. Me and Miss Rue have been back from our trip into town for a little while now. We've both had our lunch and she snuggled in for her afternoon nap. The temperature really dropped today, a 20, 20 degree difference from yesterday and the pretty clouds that I videoed yesterday quickly gave way to gray clouds and a real cold wind. And I guess that cold wind was blowing this cold air in, this cold temperatures in. So. <clears throat> we are dealing with that today. I had thought I'd seen on the internet that we were supposed to have a nice week all week. Evidently either I read it wrong or they changed their opinion, their mind. But anyways, they're saying we're supposed to be real nice towards the end of the weekend. So me and Rue, what we couldn't get done today, we will get done then. It's really not a big deal. Uh, it's my next day off, so it should be okay. Once we got back and I had Miss Rue fed and settled in to where she'd be quiet for a little while, I redid my overhead camera setup a little bit. Not much. It's basically the same way. I just use in a different holder. And I'm hoping that it will afford me the chance to use the old holder I was using, which I'm using now, to hold my iPhone whenever I do my non-overhead shots. I was using my iPad before but I would like to have something set up a little bit more to where I wouldn't have to keep switching my iPad back and forth. So I think this will be a little bit better way to do it. We will see how it works out, but I'm pretty sure that it will. 
other than that, I've been trying to figure out how I want to redo my actual desk, the part you see when I do my process videos. And that is on the agenda to get done before the end of the day. I do have a unexpected meeting for my day job at 3 o'clock, so I will have to do that today. Even though it's my day off, I do have to attend that meeting, online meeting. So I will be having to do that today, but otherwise I can dedicate the rest of my day to either working on that or maybe getting my hands into a little bit of paint. I really need to do some paint therapy. Yesterday was a very stressful day and ended up being a very, I guess you could say the gray clouds kind of blew in the mood for what the day was like. So I'm trying to put that day behind me, start fresh today, and maybe if I can get my hands into some paint and get a little bit of creating done, I'll feel a whole lot better. It does lift my mood and my spirits when I can create. Hi, good morning. It's approximately 8.15 on Saturday, January 27th, and me and Miss Rue are going to leave the house and do some running today. We woke up to a very dreary morning, hence the light not being too great, and I do apologize for that. And they say it's supposed to start raining tonight around 8 o'clock and rain all the way through to Tuesday. So our ground here is already saturated from the recent rains and snow, so I figure we'll probably end up getting a flash flood watcher warning or something. It's usually just this time of year. It goes along with it when there's been a snow and then we get rain. It just follows that it will happen. So we're not going to be too surprised by that. Where we're at, it's not flood prone. So it's nothing that we have to worry about, but we do have family and friends in areas that do have to worry about it. So we will have to keep them in our prayers. We haven't had our breakfast yet this morning. That is about the only thing I've got to do before we get out the door. We usually have our breakfast done and over with by at least 8, but I did sleep in a little bit today because little Miss Ruth slept in and she didn't wake me up. And it is my day off, and usually she wakes me up around 6.30 or 7, the normal time we get up on a work day. And she slept in today, so that makes me think maybe she's not feeling 100%. Maybe a trip out is just what the doctor ordered. I don't know. But we're going to get, I'm going to get me a cup of tea going, and I'm going to fix us some oatmeal, and I have a little bit of toast. And then we're going to scoot out the door and see what we can get into today. I forgot to mention... As you've probably noticed in this week's vlog, there are two days missing, Thursday and Friday. There's a reason for that. On Thursday, I wasn't feeling very well and did not feel like getting in front of the camera. So when I got off work, I literally laid down and that was it for me the rest of the evening. I had to get back up at 9 to fix me and Ruth something to eat, to get her out, and then right back to bed I went. And I did not get up till 6 the next morning. So I, I thought maybe I was coming down with something, but I'm feeling much better now. But maybe it was just, I was tired. A tired moment hit me. But I knew I did not feel like getting in front of the camera. And I didn't feel up to it. And I knew that all I would do would complain about how bad I felt. So I wanted to spare you that part. <laughs> so I hope you do forgive me for that. Now, as far as Friday, yesterday, it was a busy day at work. Our calls were picking up, and I was the only one on. So when I got off work, I was exhausted. So I decided to spend some me and Rue time together, and time just got away from me. It does that sometimes. So that is why I don't have a Friday vlog. I know, excuses, excuses. But I will tell you this. On Wednesday evening, I did make a canvas, my first ever mixed media type canvas. I, met, I have an aunt with a birthday coming up in March, the end of March. And I wanted to hand make her something a little bit different. And I wanted to try my hands at the mixed media canvas. I've been watching so many videos on it where you use the found items. And it's each one's personal to the creator and who they're creating it for. And I really like that because it's kind of like a one of, genuinely one of a kind. So I did not film the creation of this canvas. I never intended to film the creation of this canvas. But once I started into it, I thought, well, maybe I should snap some pics and maybe make it a blog entry. Now, the reason I didn't plan on filming this canvas creation was because I didn't know if it would be an epic fail or not. And I didn't want to put my stress, making me stress out on it if I was seeing that it was going to be a failure in me filming it. Because I would have still went ahead, and went ahead and put the video up, but I wouldn't have been happy with it. 
So this way, with the taking of the pictures as it progressed, then vlogging about it, I mean blogging, I'm sorry, blog as in written word, not vlog. Okay, blogging about it on my blog, then I could control more about what was shown and what wasn't shown, for lack of a better way of explaining it. I didn't really struggle with it. The only thing I struggled with was the placement of the items before I actually did the work on it because my OCD kicked in. And when my OCD kicked in, I know I rearranged it five or six times at least before I got it to where I would take a picture of it and say, that's it. That's how it's going to be. All done. It. Do it. And then, so I do like how it turned out. This is how it turned out. Like I said, I do have this on my blog. I do have pictures in the process as well as telling what I did as I did it. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll put the blog link right here. And you'll see a little bit more about how I got from beginning to end, start to finish, thought to creation. So I did want to interject that in there that I did, I did work Wednesday night. I did do my canvas, but I just didn't feel like vlogging on Thursday and Friday. So, I do apologize again for that, and I hope you will forgive It's Saturday, January 28th, about 11.22, and me and Miss Rue are on our way to Prestonsburg. We decided to get out of the house today and take a little bit of a short trip. There's a comic book store there, a small comic book store, and since I do not think I'll be able to make it to the large one up back home in Huntington until after Comic-Con, I thought I'd check this one out because I've never really looked at their comics. I've been in there before and looked at their figurines, but never their comic books. And see if there's anything I might be able to use in my upcoming projects. While we're out, we th I thought maybe we would also hit Walmart. I do have a few things that I need to return there and a few things to return to the Dollar General store. So I thought it would also be a good opportunity to get Miss Rue out of the house. She's been acting like she's kind of blue, and I think it's just from the weather itself. I don't know that she's feeling bad. I mean, she doesn't act like she's really feeling bad. It's just more like she's feeling blue. So I thought maybe a little extended trip other than traveling around town might just be what the doctor ordered. And in the meantime, I'll get to look at some comic books, which will help to feed my inner geek for the day. Maybe for two weeks, for two months. <laughs> we'll see. But... I do want to try and find some to work on my project ideas. That I it's just shy of 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. And as you can see, the lighting is getting worse and worse as the day goes on. And I do apologize for that. And I'm going to try and remedy that. I'm just searching for the best way to do it. So until then, just kind of hang in. And I appreciate you putting up with my poor lighting. So me and Rue have been back to the house now for about maybe 10 minutes. I did take her for a little bit of a walk because she was still acting like she's feeling kind of puny and I thought maybe it was a uh, going to the bathroom kind of issue, but she all she did was just a little bit and then that was it. So and then she asked to come back in. She came back in, got a little drink of water, and now she's back in her cage laying down. So I don't know if she's sick or just worn out or what, but I will keep an eye on her the rest of the evening and see how she progresses progresses. And then we might have a vet visit. I don't know. So I just kind of monitor her and see how she does. I did find a few comics, four comics to be exact. I spent two and a half hours almost <laughs> looking in uh, what we were out two and a half hours, almost total. Of that two and a half hours, I probably spent half an hour looking through comics. And it brought back some childhood memories and very good childhood memories. I was a comic geek when I was young. I was a geek in general, so <laughs> not just comics. But I did find four that I thought I could work with. And I do believe I'm going to have to make a trip, like I said in previous video. I'm going to have to make a trip back home. There's just no two ways about it. I'm going to need to go back home to the comic book shop. So I'm wanting to do a local Comic Con in Pikeville and set up as a vendor on the exhibitor aisle. And to do that, I'm going to have to get some stock made up. And so I was looking at maybe this being some of my stock. So I do need to get back home as soon as I can to get to the comic book store. But it probably will not be till after Lexington Comic Con, which I go to as a uh, fan. I don't set up at that one. 
and so I don't see me hat being able to go back home before then to get go to the comic store. It's 7:30 Sunday, January 28th, and as you can see, my blood pressure's up a little bit. It's been one of those kind of days. I decided last night to move the studio around, which I knew would be a major mess, so I was prepared for that. But all the pulling on the tables and putting them here and putting them there and deciding finally where I wanted them kind of took its toll on me last night, so I was in bed early. Then I had to work the day job today, and I was the only one on the phones, and it was, it was kind of busy at times, so I was not really feeling well this morning. I, I think I pulled some muscles that I didn't know I had. And then everything that could go wrong today went wrong. I mean, from the time I got up until just a few minutes ago. So thus the blood pressure. I did get some new lighting and the lighting that I have is probably making it look worse than what it is. But at least you can see me now. <laughs> and I do believe this lighting will work pretty well for whatever I want to do. I ended up not having to buy anything, which was a plus, yay, because I thought I'd have to spend money on new lighting, but I found something here in the house that'll work just as well. So I got that problem out of the way, but everything else just kind of snowballed all day until I am tired. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end the vlog here for the week, and we, me and Rue have both eaten, and I'm getting ready to get her meds in her and get my meds in me, and I'm going to call it a day just relax and watch some YouTube and go to bed. So until next week, bye YouTube.